Well, Stephen Joyce, the Dowell family met with Governor Jay Inslee because they think he is their last hope. The state's parole board doesn't think Timothy Pauley will pose any risk if he's released, but the family is worried because he may end up living here in Olympia, and that's where some of them live. I mean, I went through a nightmare. I lived through it. Maggie Dowell was working at the Barn Door Tavern with her husband, Lauren, when they got robbed in 1980. She was strangled, tied up, and left for dead in a bathroom. And so with my teeth, I untied my hands, and then slowly worked the stenching cords around my neck and cherries. While she survived, her husband and two of their co-workers were killed. Timothy Pauley confessed to two of the murders and received a life sentence. My mom was assured that it would never have to worry about him getting out. But in 1984, the law changed, making Pauley's sentence eligible for review. I opened up the cooler and I shot these two men. And following a hearing last month, the state's indeterminate sentence review board ruled Pauley can be released in July. They found he was a low risk to reoffend, had been sober since 1995, infraction free since 2012, and active in prison therapy and support groups. There are people that deserve second chances. I'm not saying that. Uh, all I'm saying is this is not one of them. This is a guy that does not deserve a second chance in the community. Former Congressman and King County Sheriff Dave Reichert was one of the detectives on the barn door case and remembers the scene as horrific. He says Pauly does not deserve to be released because he has shown no remorse. Reichert helped organize a meeting between the victim's families and Washington Governor Jay Inslee, the only person who can now block Polly's release. I said, hey, Jay, you need to have the courage. You should have the courage to do the right thing in this case and deal with whatever happens after that. We're begging people to call Governor Inslee and let them know they don't want him out. Polly's victims want him to remain in prison, to be held accountable and to make sure he can never hurt anyone again. Polly has said if released, he may move to Thurston County, where Maggie Dow lives today. To the point of thinking that I have to walk, could walk into a store and he could be there. For me, my kids, my grandkids, it terrifies me. A spokesperson for Governor Inslee told us today, quote, it is a very painful case to revisit and the impact on the family is clear and palpable. The governor expects to make a decision in the near future on this matter. Now, Dave Reichert said Polly reminds him of serial killers that he has dealt with before. Ted Bundy and the Green River killer, killer Gary Ridgway. He says they all have one thing in common. They have not shown any remorse. And Reichert says that is a sign that if he's released, Polly could hurt someone once again. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.